Let me see your tools. Yes, sir. Let me see. Using them well. Remember, a carpenter's tools are his soul. You have to treat them with care. Yes, sir. If you should ever break them carelessly, then you have no business being a carpenter at all. You ought to give it up. Got it? Yes, sir. Monkey's hammer. Monkichi, your carpentry has improved a lot lately. Here, take this as a reward. Ah. That old hammer holds a lot of memories for me. I got it as a gift from my mentor. It's been passed down that way for generations. So it's too old, and it's just broken up, and it's not as good as it was before, but I really love it. It's noon again. Time for my meal. Oh, my wife has outdone herself again. Hey, Monkichi, let's huh? go. Come on, it's only for one day. The lake's a blast. This is more fun for me. By this, do you mean carpentry? Yeah. Hmm. We're kids. Our job is to play. I don't know about the job thing, but I bet camping by the lakeside's gonna be real fun. The view from the lake is pretty. Camping? Yep! A summer camp! An overnight stay of Lake Laidback! Miss Flora's going to take us! I'm sure there'll be lots of fun stuff to do, like sailing, fishing, and campfires. Yay! And we can paint pictures. Huh? Right? Let's go! I don't know, but I still think this is more fun. Is this thing really that fun? What a big, ugly hammer! It's gorgeous! How so? Oh, beautiful. Whoa? <sighs> it has the heart and soul of a craftsman. You see? It almost seems like it's talking. You see, you see? Awesome! It's a special gift from Master Tiger. You're happy to get this dirty thing? <gasps> Monty, that was not nice. Receiving a tool from your master is a matter of loyalty and respect. It means that he really trusts you. If it were me, I'd have him buy a new one. Monty, you'll never get it. No, I get it all right. So anyway, we're all gonna go to Miss Flores now, so why don't you just come with us? Huh? I'm not coming. I, I said come. I said I won't. Just come on! No! Oh, no, me! Are, are you okay? being a carpenter you ought to give it up right away give it up give it up give it up give it up uh, uh, I, I, I... hey monkeychi monkeychi he's a goner monty huh? what what's with those accusing looks are you saying it's my fault that's right it is your fault you should tell monkeychi you're sorry but the thing was old to start with it's just as well. He should buy a new one. That's so rude, Monty. No, it's not. It's his fault for turning down my invitation. Now let's go. Mm. Monkey T. <sighs> Monkey T. Hand me a nail. Monkichi. 
Not here. Hmm? Huh? Something interesting about the sky? <gasps> it's nothing. You're a strange one. Well, hand me a nail. Yes, sir. All right, here we... Huh? Wait a minute. You call this a nail? Come on, a nail. Yes, sir. Hurry it up. Yep, this is just the perfect size for a nail. Hey! I'm sorry. Hand me a nail. A nail. Oh! Monkey G, pay attention! Oh, right. Here, you nail it. There and there. Huh? What do you mean, huh? Be sure to do it right. Yes, sir. <sighs> you finished? Huh? Uh, yes, sir. Show me. Oh. I see. Mm. What's this? Monkey Shield! are really good at putting in nails. It's too bad that Miss Flora wasn't home, right, guys? Yep. We'll come back tomorrow, though. Hey. Huh? If we were in the city, wouldn't we have called her first to make sure that she was home? Probably. Maybe we could have just done everything over the phone. Our ways don't always work on this island, do they? Just buying those new plates was an adventure. That's old news. That's right. I guess... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Shape those up for me, Monkichi. Yes, sir. I'll be back with some new lumber from town. I'm counting on you. one that's not something you can just glue back together what are you guys up to when did you get back hmm were you caring for your tools yes sir that reminds me what happened to the hammer i gave you hmm? are you hiding something Yeah, me three. You guys must be really confused about something. Confused about what? I'm the one who broke the hammer you gave to Monkey G. Broke it? You mean it broke? Huh? Thought I told you that it's old and too big for you, so you should fix it up to suit you. Huh? Huh? I guess I was too excited to hear what he was telling me about. 
about the time. I got it! Carpentry's awesome! All right, does everyone understand? I'll repeat it again. The lake is a fun place. However, the results can be disastrous if you should get carried away goofing off. For example, if you run around, you may slip and fall into the lake. How many times have we heard this? You may walk into I guess it's around the 12th time she's been repeating the same thing. You there! That was rude. Listen with your mouth closed, understand? Hmm, forgot where I was. Where was I? We heard everything! All right, I see. Then just to be safe, I'll start over on our camp rules just one more time so everyone will be safe. Aww. Summer camp, here we come! You must never run by the water. This lake suddenly becomes deep away from the shore, so it's very dangerous. What would happen if you fell on such a spot? It'll ruin the summer camp experience for everyone. Also, you must not shout. Stay as quiet as possible. Also, make sure that How you're together. How many times have we heard this? Shore. Already okay. more than 30 at least. Hey, you there. Mm. Did you get that? Oh, uh, uh, yes, I got it, yes. Then that's fine. This concludes my lecture. Now be sure to remember what I've said. These rules are very important, okay? Okay. okay. Uh, <sighs> freedom at last! Huh? Is this the campgrounds? I was picturing a trendy little lodge and picnic tables and stuff. But there's nothing here. Rocco seems to be having fun. Look at him, guys. Huh? Nature's so beautiful. Well, campgrounds are supposed to have nothing. Don't you even know that? Jeez, how dumb by those guys. Mm. <gasps> but doesn't that make it boring? Yeah. How oh, true. It is boring. Uh, there he goes again. Yes. But isn't there something here? Oh, what is that? That's where they store everything we use at the camp. Hmm. Hmm. It should be here somewhere. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Reading by the quiet lakeside? How wonderful. Let's go! I'll get you! Never! <laughs> Way! Oh, how it tugs at my heartstrings. It's a masterpiece no matter how many times I read it. Heads up, Monty! Oh, there's Nothing like reading in a peaceful environment. No, you don't! This way! Yes, turn away! Really, it soothes the heart. Hey, that's handling! Never mind handling! Stop it! I'm confiscating the ball. Don't you understand this is a lakeside campground? There's no reason for all of this commotion. No reason? This kind of place is made for quiet reading. If you're not going to sit down and read, then play quietly. Do you understand? We understand. We understand. Who wants to read when we can be playing? Well, it's what Miss Flora likes. Oh. It's finished! Hmm? Oh. Oh. Hey, right here! Monkichi, you're awesome! Now we just have to float in the water to find the small holes to fix. All right, a maiden voyage! Come on! Heave-ho! 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 You may not. Yes, we may. Oh. I said no. Okay. okay. <sighs> how wonderful. Oh, how touching. Um, Miss Flora? <sighs> Ooh. What now? What did you do? Nothing. It's noon. What about lunch? Didn't you bring anything? No. You didn't tell us to. 
Was that so? You must not. You may not. Absolutely not. Oh. Gather around, everyone. This is not good. So you mean no one brought any food with them? I can go without eating since I'm a big girl, but I feel bad for my sister Coco. Sissy, I'm so hungry. All right, then. We'll have to split up and start a search for food. I feared. Only the best of world literature and not a single survival guide. After all, it's a camp. Hmm, am I missing something? Hey, what'd you use for bait? A tree nut. A mushroom. Hmm. What are you trying to fish, squirrel? Then what are you using? Me? I'm using this. Where did you get that? I wanted to go fishing from the beginning of the trip, so I had Monkichi make it. Oh, you'll get a lot with that. Uh-huh. But there's a catch. <laughs> <laughs> a catch? It's made of wood! So it won't sink! <laughs> Coco got away on the boat. What? what? Coco! Oh no! It's sinking! What? No! Don't just stand there! We all have to go and save her! <gasps> we can't swim! Monkichi, build another boat! There's not enough time! No way! <laughs> Don't we have anything? <gasps> I'm glad you're safe, Coco. Huh. Now we'll have our unexpected catch of fish and choose those mushrooms for dinner. All right, guys? Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the other side of the lake tomorrow. That's okay, right, Miss Laura? Uh -huh. Of course. Uh -huh. I'm going to say no. Uh -huh. 
Instead, we'll all read quietly. Books are wonderful. When you read, you can transport yourself to places like hot deserts and cobblestone streets, even though you stay by the lake. What? Then what's the point of being here? Mr. Fontaine! <laughs> okay.